Alec Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to the JP Show. I am your host, JP, and we're back, we're back, we're back with a brand new episode. Yes, this is episode 26. This is season two, episode 26. Wow, these episodes are going fast. But guys, welcome back to the show. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Man, this show is doing very, very well. I got a lot of good feedback from my last show where I had Billy on the last show. So guys, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the show. It's very, 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 very important that you like, comment, subscribe, and share the show. The subscribe button should be somewhere around here at the bottom of your screen. Uh, so look, guys, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm not going to hesitate. I'm not going to take too much time. Let's get into Get It Off Your Chest, JP. Get It Off Your Chest, JP. Get It Off Your Chest. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. All right, here we go. Get It Off Your Chest today, episode 26. For the ladies, for my ladies, for the ladies, you have to take control of your dating life. This is one of the problems that we are having, um, women are having, I should say, um, in the dating atmosphere that's going on. They're not taking, ladies, you are not taking control of your dating life what happens is is that you may have a standard and you may have been alone for a, alone for a long period of time um, a guy comes up to you he raps to you and tell you about this and this and that and then all of a sudden you know what I'm saying you're 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 in a relationship with him without even getting to know him or without even, he may not even be your cup of tea, but because maybe it's sex or because maybe it's, you've been alone for a long period of time and you need like a companion or whatever, you jump in and being in a relationship. Remember on the JP show, I, I don't believe in, I believe in separation, <laughs> separation of um, love and sex, separation of relationship and sex. I believe that if you've been by yourself for a long period of time or if you've been alone and you're looking for sex, if you're horny and you want sex, then you can have sex without being um, in love or without being in a relationship with the person. You don't always have to jump to because we're having sex, uh, we got to be in a relationship. You can actually have sex with a person and still find your person that you're looking for. Uh, the one thing I want to say to the ladies is that what's happened is, is that imagine that, imagine, imagine that you just, you're sitting in your house one day and you're relaxing, you're chilling, and then all of a sudden you get a knock at the door. And you go and you open the door and all of a sudden um, it's, um, you know, your, your, your local food store and they're just delivering whatever type of food to you. You got you got hamburger meat in there, you got steaks, you got chicken, you know, you got all types of stuff, but you know, you're a vegan. You don't eat that. You know, this is similar to to what I'm trying to tell you guys is that you know, whatever type of guy is coming to you and you're just accepting it. You're not actually going out and, and going to the grocery store or going online picking out your own meals, you're actually just allowing whatever meal to come to you. If you kind of understand my drift of what I'm saying. So for the ladies, we're in 2022. You can pick your own meal. We I, I, I talk about this a lot. Is you you don't have to always go off of traditional values. 
Some of those tradition is leaving us in the place where we're at today. For my ladies, you can actually go out and pick your meal. You can actually go out and pick your man. You could go actually go out and say, this is the man that I like. This is the man that I'm interested in. This is the type of man that I would like to date. And you can actually go out and, and get to know him and talk to him. If you see him, say hello to him, get to know him. So... You don't actually have to allow anything that comes to you. What's going on for the ladies and y'all can deny it or whatever the case is. What's going on is that ladies, you may have a standard and we all know women have these high freaking standards. But as soon as a man comes to you, you don't you, you, you throw away your standards. Well, how about you pick the meal? How about you go out and you pick what you like and what you want? Uh, I know it sounds crazy because... Women is all they got this princess mentality and they're thinking like, oh, the guy's supposed to come to me, and what about this and what about that? But it's okay if you go out, and that's what you know in today's society, women you have afforded yourself, you have put so much time in, you've been so aggressive in 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 in, in all facets of life, and women are are doing so well in every facet but when it comes to dating you are taking like a 50 years step back you know what i'm saying you're like a, a james harden step back jumper you know what i mean so for the ladies you don't have to date anything that comes to you and i know some of y'all gonna say i don't you do you do ladies y'all have standards y'all have y'all you, you, men we have no standards women the one thing I respect about y'all and I love about y'all is that y'all do have standards. The problem is, is that y'all don't stick to your standards. You know what I'm saying? So how about for the ladies, you go out and you pick your meal. That's what the guys do. The guys don't freaking sit around and, and wait for the ladies because the ladies won't, it, it won't happen if we wait for the ladies. I had a, a, a situation not too long ago where I heard a female tell uh, another girl, she was on the phone, and I heard a female tell another girl, ooh, girl, he's fine. And so I was in a position where I couldn't really talk to her. So instead of her getting off her phone and saying, going up to, the, going up to me and say, hey, how are you, or just making some type of conversation, she just allowed me to just walk out of her life knowing that she was interested, knowing that there was a mystery there and she wanted to find out who this person was, knowing that she was attracted to me, you know what I'm saying? And so because I couldn't, I wasn't in the position to talk to her, you know what I'm saying? She would have to come to talk to me. I, I wasn't in that. I, was, I just heard a little bit of the conversation, but I couldn't talk to her. So she wouldn't come and talk to me. And that's the thing I'm saying, ladies. Go talk to the man that you're looking for. Go talk to the guy that you're interested in. Don't I don't want to hear, I want to keep hearing, oh, guys, don't come and talk to me. Go talk to him. Go pick your own meal. Pick your own, pick your own dinner. If you're a vegan, why are you eating meat? Pick your own meal that you like. If you like a, a certain type of guy, you like bad boys, you like good guys, you like nerdy guys, you like intelligent guys, you like sophisticated slash nerdy guys, whatever the case is, go pick your guy. And stop allowing guys to just come up and talk to you and they don't, they're not coming with anything. If you like an intelligent, sophisticated, smart guy and then you got this freaking, this guy coming up, yeah, what's up girl? And you're allowing these dudes to come and talk to you because you may be horny or because, and then you're getting it. Stop it. Enough is enough for the ladies. Enough is enough. You, this is 2022. You can Pick your guy that you're interested in. You can go and talk to the guy that you like. I don't want to hear no more about guys don't come and talk. That guys don't come and talk to you because you ain't going up and talk to God. Pick your own meal, okay? Pick your meal that you like, all right? Oh, let me hold up. Before I get off of that, let me also say another thing for the ladies. <laughs> Another thing for the ladies is, is stop helping men unpack, okay? If a guy is coming to you and he got all these type of problems, and I think I talked about this on a recent show, if a guy comes to you and he's damaged, 
He got all these type of problems. He's um, in all these type of different situations. He's in and out of prison or in and out of jail. Stop helping men unpack. Okay? We're ladies. I know you. For the ladies, I know you like projects. The ladies like projects. But you can't turn your guy into a project. Like, sometimes, ladies, the guy just have to come with the goods. He just has to be that guy that you're looking for. Stop trying. And this is the problem. This is, one of the, this is another problem. Women, you're always looking for projects. Now, for the ladies, let me tell you something. I know at least, I know at least five guys right now that's not a project. That's single, that's educated, that's, that's working, you know what I mean? That's doing their own thing, that got businesses and everything, and they're single. At least five. I know at least five guys right now. And you know what happens? Because, and I had somebody tell me this. I had somebody tell me this. So we was talking last week, and we were saying, we was talking about, you know, food and you know, and cooking and culinary and all this type of stuff. So, you know, I was showing some of my people's um, some meals that I make at my house or whatever. Well, that I used to make. I don't cook as much, uh, but, you know, I, I cook a little bit. So I was showing some of the meals that I make and all this type of stuff. And so one of my people's, they was like, you made this? And I was like, yeah. And it was like, they was like, you single, right? And I was like, yeah, I'm single. And they was like, I know you're single because no woman is going to get with you cooking like this. <laughs> and I was like, what? And they were like, yeah, no woman is going to get with a man that can cook and clean and take care of himself and sophisticated and carry. No woman is going to get with a man like that. Women like projects. And I was like, yo, I talk about this. I told, I said, yo, I talk about this on my show all the time. Women like projects for the ladies you every guy that you date don't have to be a project if you you're going to date projects but in, in your whole life you don't have to date every guy is a project you know what i'm saying like like guys we date projects but at a certain point in our in our lives the project is over and now we're looking for a woman i got i told myself years ago maybe like 10 years ago like listen the projects is over Getting women up to speed is over, you know, teaching them this and teaching them that and all that stuff is over. Now you got to come with the goods. You got to be on my level. And men, we tend to sit, stick to that better than women. Women, you guys kind of allow, and you know, you may say it, but then you may allow whatever guy because you like projects. And a guy, because you're, you're, you, you're a nurturer, a guy comes to you damaged and you're going to nurture him. And so for the ladies, you got to stop nurturing guys so much. You can nurture your man. You can nurture your boyfriend or your husband or whatever. But if there's a guy that he's just, he's damaged or whatever the case is, listen, that's not, that's, that's, a, 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 that's a scenario or that's a, a strategy for the guy to get into your house. <laughs> that's all that is. If a guy says he's broke, he don't have nowhere to live, or he's living there with his, with his uncle or whatever the case is, or he's dealing with his, his girlfriend and she's da 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 da, she's getting on his nerve and they're having trouble. That's a strategy, ladies. That's not, that's not a guy coming to you that's, a husband material like yo, I'm I'm the real deal. That's a strategy to get into your into your bedroom, get into your panties, make you go ooh, so you could just be emotional and you can nurture him back up to speed. As soon as you nurture him back up to speed or whatever, he gonna dump you and do the next girl the same way. So for the ladies, cut it out with the DIY projects. Every guy, every guy you date should not be a DIY project. Guys that you date should come to you or, or you go to them and they should have their stuff together, okay? For the guys. For the guys. For my guys. You don't have to lie to women. You don't have to lie to women. Women love projects. <laughs> like, I know this sounds crazy because I just told women to stop doing what they're doing. 
But now for the guys, even though I'm telling women to stop with the DIY projects and, 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 and cleaning guys up, they're not going to stop. For the guys, you don't have to lie to women. Women love projects. There's a million trillion guys out here that are not projects that have their ish together. And women pass up on these guys every single day because they love projects. So for the guys, you don't have to lie to them. You don't have to bamboozle them. You don't have to trick them. You can literally come to a, a woman who you are. You know what I'm saying? If you meet a woman on a dating site, you don't have to lie to them. If you if you gain weight or you feel like you're not attractive or whatever, the one thing that we know about women is that a lot of women, they don't really care about looks like that. They care more so about a companion and, and what they want and somebody to be there and they want to be with somebody and all this type of stuff. So for the guys, you don't have to lie about your weight. You don't have to lie about where you live. You don't have to lie about... Women, they love projects. Women love projects. And they are going to nurture your ass till you are on the top of the top. And then you just leave them. So you don't have to lie to them because that's what's going on. The ladies is telling me, guys, they always lie and they lie about this and that. Guys, don't lie. Tell them the truth. I was watching Michael Blackerson on, on, um, on Shannon Sharp um, podcast. Shannon Sharp got a podcast. I think it's called Club Shay Shay. I was watching um, Shannon Sharp podcast and Michael Blackerson literally on the show said, I told my woman the truth. I'm a cheater. I like other women. And my woman was okay with it. She was okay with me, you know, being upfront, telling her who I am, what I'm about. And allow me to be able to go out and maybe once a month or something like that, I do my own thing. So I told you guys, I told all you guys sh uh, so many shows ago that you don't have to lie to women and you could tell women what you want. And a lot of women, they will be down. A lot of women will be down. If you are a provider, or you a good guy, you got all, some women will be out. Oh, you will meet some women that will not be down. And, and maybe that's the case where that's not your girl. But you will meet a lot of women that will be down for the cause. And they don't care. And let me tell you something. Women are sexual creatures as well. Women are more sexual creatures than us. So... Hey, listen, don't be surprised if she may want to intertwine or, you know, intermingle with some of the stuff that you into or whatever the case is. Because women, they're more sexual than us. You know, at a certain age, our testosterone go down. At a certain age, women's testosterone go up. So it's very important for men to know that you think you're doing your thing or whatever. But women, they're going to keep their sexual, their sexual drive is going to keep going up. And up and up and up while ours are going down. So for the guys, don't lie to women. Just be yourself. So if you're a bum, if you're listen, women love bum dudes. So if you're a bum, just be a bum. They will take you in. We know that. We've seen it throughout history. They will take you in. Alright? So listen, that is get it off your chest for today. Yes, yes, for the ladies. Pick your own food. You ain't got to keep letting food just show up at your door. Pick your own food. For the guys, you ain't got a lot of women. Be yourself. They love projects. Just be your project and they still going to take you in, all right? Okay, so let's go into... Read 